All right, guys, it's Charlie Tango one nine nine four back with another YouTube video. I've been buying bits and pieces for the shack recently, uh, and did a, a video uh, a week or so ago um, about the uh, antenna matcher that I bought, um, and another little tool that I wanted to get hold of was a frequency counter. Now, I've been looking on eBay for a while, and uh, there are a number of different frequency counters out there. Uh, but to my eye a lot of them are a little bit pricey um, looking on eBay they're sort of 50, 50 pounds upwards and I, I don't mind paying that sort of money but uh, I stumbled across um, this cheap little frequency counter um, for 10 pound on eBay so I thought I'd uh, I'd get one in and just, just see if it was worthwhile uh, comes in from China um, and it is pretty basic not gonna uh, not gonna mince words about it it's just basically a little a little circuit board um, a screen this little aerial uh, and you have to fit a, uh, a 9 volt battery um, fairly basic <laughs> and uh, unlike the, the the other sort of more expensive frequency counters um, it works from the aerial rather than connecting a patch cable most of them you connect from the rig uh, through to your area or whatever else you've got between between the two and uh, it picks up your frequency from that if you're new to this channel and would like to see more CB related videos feel free to hit the subscribe button below and watch out for new videos uploaded every Wednesday if you enjoy my videos don't forget to hit the like button or leave me a note in the comments section also if you're new to CB Radio, watch this video through to the end to find out more about the free gift I offer to all of my subscribers. Um, obviously the main reason for me getting it, I've been buying and selling rigs for a while now. And uh, usually when I do my tests, uh, I just test between a handheld um, or another rig um, and just, just test really, just test the modulation, not in a scientific way, but you know, does it, does it break the channel does it you know is it is it audible um, I had a rig recently actually where uh, in doing that test found out there was a problem with the the speaker so it's always worth doing that particularly if you're gonna gonna sell them on so uh, it's worth having these tools in your shack um, and of course if you're not sure uh, if things are working as sweetly as they should so it's been for me anyway it's been a sound investment um, other things to say about this uh, before we switch it on is, uh, like I say, it was a tenner. Got it off eBay. Uh, says that it works between one megahertz and five hundred megahertz. So it'd be good for PMR, um, the other bands. Um, I haven't actually tested it with a sideband rig. I've got I've got a couple knocking around at the moment um, that I could fire up, to be honest, just to see. Uh, sort of the, the different frequency readings you get from uh, from the sideband um, and uh, I've got a little chart alongside me now so we can can test and confirm uh, the different frequencies as they align with the the channel numbers so uh, we'll, we'll do that in a second um, and uh, you know I'd, I'd, usually I'd give you a proper thorough walkthrough but there's there's not a lot to be said about this uh, runs off the battery clearly um, there's a little power switch on the side so we just fire it up it says hang on being cack handed here we go so we get a little uh, a little start up message and uh, let me just see that's clear enough um, so yeah that's uh, that's displaying the megahertz um, and I've got this set to channel one now on my little chart channel one in terms of megahertz is the obviously the uk fm band uh so it's the the offset 27 megahertz on the chart it says 27601 every rig that i look at uh tends to give me a reading of 605 so you might question whether that's bang on frequency um but i've done god four or five rigs in the last week or so uh, and I don't know. I mean, I'm not. I'm not a 
an expert at these things, um, please don't leave a comment straightening me out. Uh, but certainly this Colt rig I've uh, been using for many, many, many months and not had a problem with the transmit or the receive in terms of uh, frequency. So if it is a couple of points out, it doesn't seem to make any odds. Or it's just, you know, it's just uh, there or thereabouts, which like most things in life, I'm quite happy to live with um, on the understanding that that's kind of how life is. Right, so I've got the rig set to channel one um, and the frequency counter turned on. Um, according to my frequency chart, we should be hitting 27.60125. Uh, as I said, when I key up, and I've done this on a couple of other rigs, it's going to show us 27.605. So, uh, to me, that's on frequency. I haven't had, ever had a problem with this rig, so uh, and having tested a couple of others. So, yeah, happy with that. We'll flick it to channel 40. And uh, I need to scroll down actually, um, just slightly off camera to get to 2799125, and, and that's showing us 27995. So, uh, not such a variation between the frequency chart and the, um, and the reader. So, again, not happy with it, seem to be hitting the channels when I'm using the rig, so it's not a problem. Um, and we can scroll through a couple of the others. As I say, this is just a standard UK FM rig. Uh, so, get a bit boring if we test every channel. But just to show you that it is giving you a good reading. Um, one other thing to say about it is that I've had to rig things up slightly differently. I'm not running this off the home base aerial at the moment. I've pulled in a, uh, a little car aerial um, just, to, uh, just to basically bring the sort of radio signal into the shack uh, just so the aerial works um, the other as I said the more expensive rigs uh, the more expensive counters uh, you run for a patch lead so if you if you wanted to do that or you know you haven't got a problem spending 50 odd quid then uh, that might be a better option for you but I thought just for a tenner um, this is worth worth at least having a look at if it didn't work out it didn't work out um, and just to show you with another Another rig, I've got a little a little handheld, uh, which is currently set to channel 9. So I'm just going to change the channel and uh, things check out. It should show us 27.685. Um, again, because the aerial uh, is, is close by, um, it works fine. So for me to do my testing, I'm just going to hook it up to a to a, a temporary aerial just so I can get a decent reading but I'm, I'm quite happy with that not not an issue at all and uh, channel 9 on the chart was 2768125 check it again 2768627688 well it's varying slightly 27687 so yeah the little handheld seems to be there are thereabouts. I've actually got it on channel nine. Twenty-seven six eight five. So what were we saying? A different or the same? Twenty-seven six eight five. Twenty-seven six eight five. There we go. Twenty-seven six eight five from the handheld, and twenty-seven six eight five from the Colt. So that's a cheap little frequency counter that you might be interested in. Um, I'll leave a link to it on eBay uh, in the description if you're interested. And I'll catch up with you on another YouTube video soon. Cheers, guys. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. And as a thank you to you, particularly if you're new to CB Radio or returning to it after many years, I've put together a free information series called The Beginner's Guide to CB Radio, which I'm sharing with all of my subscribers. To find out more, click the link in the top right corner now.